How to run a Docker container on Google Cloud Run. That's today's video. Let's dive into it. So I'm assuming you already have a working container uh, on your local machine. But if you don't, what you need is a Docker file. And if you want to use Docker Compose, you need a Docker Compose.yaml to build a container image so that you can spin up a container. If you want the tutorial on this, leave it in the comments below. So assuming everything is working, we will now create a repository on Docker Hub. So let's go to Docker Hub. Let's sign in. I already have an account. If you don't, you can register for one. And here you can see I already have two repositories. Let me make a new one. I'm going to name this our food. And I will call this a food, nutrition and carbon labeling. Platform. I've already used one private repository, so any other repository that I make will be public. So let me create this. And now that I have a repository set up on Docker Hub, let's go to the next step. So we need to tag our existing image using um, the Docker Hub username and the repo name. So let's go ahead and do that. So open our local terminal and go ahead and type Docker tag an existing image. So what was it called? The existing image was called food label website front end. And then we renamed this to a hub user slash the repo name, which was our food, I believe our food. Okay. And then a tag, you don't have to have a tag. It will just be colon latest. Let's run that. Okay, so that's done. You can see here now that I have this Docker image, Matthew Kit forward slash our food. All right, good. So the next step, we want to push local image to Docker Hub. So to do that, uh, you do Docker push, then the hub user slash repo name. And it's basically this. It will automatically tag it as the latest. Okay, so now it's pushing the local image to Docker Hub and it will take some time. All right, it looks like it's finished. And you can see we have the latest tag and the image that we pushed. Perfect. Next step is to go to Cloud Run. Let's create a new project. Let's call it our food. I like the project. Let's go ahead and click Create Service. Cool. Now, this is where we put the container image URL. It will be docker.io forward slash your username forward slash the repo name colon the tag. Let's put that in. Our username is Matthew Kit. Repo name is our food and the tag latest. So that's it. We want the repo name to be our food. Let's choose a region. Let's go for a European one. I'll go for Belgium because it's tier one pricing and it's got low carbon dioxide. So that's good. We can keep everything else to be default. This minimum number of instances, if we want to make sure that there is always an instance running for your service, then change this to maybe one. And for the authentication, if it's a website, as it says, we will allow unauthenticated invocations. So basically allow access from anywhere on the internet. Just checking the container port. So the port that we specify should be the same as the port that we are exposing in the Docker file. We expose the port 8501 in the container. So let's change this to 8501. Everything else is default, default, default. Go ahead and click create. All right, so the container has been deployed successfully and you can see here we have a public URL. Let's open this in incognito, paste it in. Let's hope this works and boom, it works. This method allows you to deploy any container service you want. If you found this video helpful, leave it in the comment section below.